Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at 1CNC C-axis full machining. Now in this example, you can see we have a part and we have a chuck. I'm going to temporarily hide the chuck just by turning the layer off. So I'm going to left click right there and let's zoom in just a little bit. All right, so what is C-axis full machining? Well, this is where we're going to take a ball nose end mill or a bull nose end mill and we're going to make a cut that's collinear or parallel to the z-axis and then we're going to rotate the part whatever degree we want and then the tool is going to make another pass again parallel or collinear to the z-axis. Let me demonstrate. The first thing you want to do is head over to the NC manager, left hand mouse click on set machining axis and make sure that you have c-axis full selected which we do. So we're going to click OK to that. Very good. Now we're going to head over to the command manager, select simultaneous toolpaths, four axis machining, and then on this first dialog box we're going to define our tool. I'm quite happy with all the parameters. This is going to be in turret position number one. Speeds and feeds look great. We're using a ball end mill. Everything else looks great. Half inch diameter, so we'll click next. All right, so here are the actual parameters for the toolpath. Now the first two parameters, A and B, this defines an envelope along the z-axis to contain the toolpath. So we have to supply two parameters. Now for B, that's at the front of the part, so I might start with zero for that. We're going to say zero for B, and the A is just how far along the z-axis do we want to go. In my example, we're going to use minus 5.4. Okay, that looks great. Now having said all of this, if you want to, you can use this option called Calc Extents, and what that's going to do is one CNC will scan the solid model and based upon the dimensions of the solid model will fill these parameters in as well as other offsets. Let me give you an example. If we go with calc extents, I'm going to say for length offset, that's the distance along the Z axis. I have that set to zero and diameter offset, that's going to adjust uh, these parameters down here. We're going to ignore that for right now, but just note I have zero there for the length offset. We'll click OK and you can see how 1CNC has updated that. So as it scanned the solid model, it's saying, OK, well, the very end of the part's at minus 7.75. Well, I don't want the toolpath to go that far, so I'm going to make that smaller. Minus 5.4 will work just fine. All right, now the start and finish clearance radius. This is an extra clearance value we can use at the very beginning or the end of the toolpath. We don't need that, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Now, the clearance radius and the material radius, that has to do with the part. And first, let me take a look at material radius. That's this option three here. In our example, the part's actually five inches in diameter. So our material radius is going to be 2.5. Now, the reason why we did this first is our clearance radius needs to be bigger than that. Okay, and I've got 3.15. That's a little bit more than I need. I might just make that 2.75. Okay. I think all that looks good. Plunge clearance, that's where the tool is going to start to feed down. Our surface tolerance at two tenths looks great. Leave for finish, I'm going to say zero because again, this is going to be a finish pass. Maximum step over, don't need to worry about that because we're making passes along the Z axis. So we don't have to worry about maximum step over. Now start angle and end angle, that is important. I want the tool to start at C0 and go all the way around to C360. That looks good. Now here's the incremental angle. I'm going to make that two degrees. I think all that looks great, so let's click finish on that and let one CNC generate the toolpath. All right, very good. Let's go back to our layer browser, turn our chuck layer back on, and why don't we quickly preview the toolpath? I'm going to right hand mouse click. We're going to select preview toolpath, and here we go. Let's rotate this around a little bit. So you can see we're making passes along the part. These passes are collinear or parallel with the z-axis. And every time it makes a pass, it's going to move up 50 thousandths and then reposition itself and start all over again. Now this is actually a zigzag pattern. We can change this. Let's right hand mouse click on this. Let's go to edit operation. And I'm going to quickly move through here. We'll click next. And down here where it says zigzag, I'm going to uncheck that. We'll click finish. Let one CNC generate the toolpath. That looks good. Let's take this into preview now. So preview toolpath. And now you can see we're going to be cutting along the same direction each time. That can lend itself to a nicer finish on the part. 
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.